I'm very humbled for this award. And Australia Day is really about the community. It's really about who we are. Volunteers, as we've heard already, um, the impact that they can do. And Knox City Council, I really want to highlight, you guys have inspired myself. But not only that, you've actually inspired others around the world. City Council in the UK has just done another order of these backpack beds, which do save the lives of homeless. City Councils were also around Australia, which have been saying, hey, this is effective. For those who don't know, this backpack bed is used by over 140 charities around Australia. We have no government funding. And because of that, we had to turn away 39 charities empty-handed. There are statistics that have just come out. Homeless people are 35 times more likely to commit suicide. When I talk to homeless Victorians, homeless Australians, it's more along the lines of 99% of people thought about suicide, already tried. It's horrible. What is happening out there, the charities tell us. Because each one of these that are distributed, they're surveyed. And each of the charities are saying the same thing. Tony, Tony, we've never had so many homeless on our streets ever before. This is what the charities are telling us. And it breaks my heart. We won the Australian Human Rights Award. That is the highest award a charity can get in the whole of Australia. And I really want to say, sincerely, Knox City Council, thank you, because you are the only people who have ever thanked me in this community, <laughs> apart from the charity tonight. And with all of our success all over the world, yes, we've won three global awards. Yes, we're in two international museums with this backpack bed. And yes, we get requests, as I said already, from the UK, the US, Croatia, Poland, Alaska, and the list just keeps going. Germany, Sweden, all wanting this backpack bed because they've all got the same situation as what do we do when homeless are turned away from shelters? The latest statistic is average wait time for public housing is 16 years. For those at extreme risk, extreme risk, 12 to 18 months. So what the question is, what do you do when you're turned away from a shelter empty-handed? What do you do? And that is why growing men, when we give it to them, cry. Women, cry. Because they've never ever been given anything of such dignity. Usually they're turned away empty-handed. Or maybe they get a blanket which is probably more suited for a, a summer night rather than a mid cold, cold winter of Melbourne. And of course, blankets, they get dirty. Um, and the current Australian policy, they're actually against the Universal Human Rights Charter. Because everyone has the right to dignity. No one should be turned away for degrading treatment for the business card. And everybody keeps asking, with all the success, with 200 charities putting in and writing, Tony, we want this. Tony, these are working. Tony, these are saving people from desperation crime. Tony, Thank you so much for these. They keep asking me the same question. And no doubt you guys are asking the same question as well. What do the politicians think? What do they think? And I mentioned before, Knox City Council. You guys are the only one that thinks nothing's come from your boss. Nothing's come from our touch. We have the support in federal parliament, the Greens, Maurice Payne, the Shadow Minister for Housing. And a lot of Labor federal MPs are also pushing for us. We have a meeting with the Federal Attorney General, who's now the Minister for Homelessness for Australia in February, where we're again saying, please listen. And in 2008, right here in Victoria, our Treasurer, Kim Wells, wrote me a letter. He said, Tony, these are fantastic. Please, lots of praise. And Wendy Lovell, who's the Victorian Housing Minister, wrote the same words. It's made, that's been made very clear to me, the way Victoria thinks. Wendy Lovell said, 
Do not ask the Victorian government for money. Ask for a job. Volunteers, we do our best, but we need the help of our politicians. And accountability should be there because we are working for free to help people. And we just had some fantastic news today because of that letter that Kim Wells wrote was in 2008. Today is 2012. I'm not sure what more hoops we have to jump through, how many more studies we have to be successful in. But he's done something fantastic, and I would like to commend him for that. And we do encourage and we do approve of the housing campaign that we have. Like build more houses, build more houses. That's fantastic. What do we do tonight? However, we've got that typical situation in Scalaways do. Well, we want the federal government to fund them. Yes, 284,000 is enough to do the whole of Victoria to give one of these to every homeless person in Australia. In Victoria, 284,000. Yet we have a scenario where we have to beg the federal government because of Victoria coming. They said, no, we need a letter from the federal government. So he's promised today, um, so feel free to shout at it, in case I've misinterpreted, I promise that he made on our table this morning. And we look forward to your letter saying, hey, can the federal minister of homelessness, Robert, please supply the Victoria government with a letter saying, hey, can Victoria be funded 284,000 and maybe do a pilot program, which we could then use as part of our United Nations case study. That's how big this is. Make no mistake, what this is doing around the world is getting a lot of international attention, both in TV, magazines all over the world. It's incredible. Knox should be very proud because it's all started from here. You guys are an absolute inspiration. And these guys, nominees, fantastic. What a blessing. May God bless us in all because I'm here for homeless. And homeless need all the help that they can get on this Australia Day because homeless are Australians as well. God bless the homeless. God bless everybody here. And let us pray that good happens from our local members of Parliament. Thank you very much.